All right, guys, here is what's going on in the Watt 5th garage. So we recently just got our Ford 9-inch from Chick Chassis. Um, this guy's out of Wisconsin, so I was able to drive down there and pick it up. Didn't, I could save on some shipping costs, so that's kind of nice. So here's what you get from what I ordered. Um, it's a Ford 9-inch, and we put the back brace on there. Might as well. I never know what the future is going to hold. But uh, I know we don't probably need it at this moment um, because it's not going to be a super high horsepower build. But who never knows what the uh, future is going to hold. So I figured I'd be prepared and get it installed. So um, the other thing that comes cool with these from Trick Chassis is he puts on the adjustable um, link bars. So you got adjustment for the geometry that you desire. So that's kind of neat. So um, this is what you get when you get a raw housing from him. Um, you got to do everything. It's completely raw. It's not painted. I could have had a paint. Uh, I could pay him to paint it, but I'm going to be painting a bunch of other things. So that wasn't necessary. But I got to clean this out really well. Still got to put the studs in here. It comes with with the kit and stuff like that. And uh, here's the spring perches and here. The lowering springs that are going to be going on the car. It's a one inch lowering springs. We'll see how that sits for the ride height. It's just going to be the stock um, style suspension that's going to be going back in there. So nothing crazy. And then here are the link bars. Um, these come powder coated from him. Uh, we ended up going with the adjustable ones. Um, went with the adjustable ones so that I could square the rear end off. Um, when it comes to alignment and then also um, for the angle of the pinion and re in relation to the LS motor trans uh, off the transmission. So um, it's nice to be able to have that adjustability. Um, these are really nice, really thick, heavy duty. Um, I went with the polyurethane bushings on all of it just to give it a little better ride. Um, he did send it with, uh, I do have these, it comes in a bag, um, I think those go here, nope, nope, he must send these with it, yes, because these are going to be your thing as well, that get um, pushed into here, so he sent the rubber polyurethane bushings that go in here, so I guess he sends these with it, um, so that in case you ever want to go to solid mounts, he sends the solid mounts. So that's kind of nice. And then I uh, went with 31 spline axles, just a kind of a standard style. Um, and then it's a Yukon uh, 373 gears setup. So nothing crazy. Um, didn't get upgraded anything really in it. So, but I know these things are tough anyways. So. But uh, this is what everything I got. I also got rear disc brakes, which are over here. Um, nothing crazy. Again, just kind of a just a standard, standard style rear brake, disc brake, and then just regular discs. Or I'm sorry, rotors. So no, nothing drilled and slotted. Don't need it. So um, so yeah. So everything's got to get painted now. Everything comes in raw. Um, everything's raw, so I think I'm just going to go black with everything, just a satin black, like a chassis black. Um, I got a lot of stuff to paint. We got everything for the front, front end and everything, so get this all cleaned up. You have to really wash this out. You have to clean them and clean them and clean them to get all, all the uh, welding shavings out of there, grinding shavings, welding sparks, spatter, everything in there, so... Um, cool thing about these Mosers, now on my Nova build, um, I had to build this whole thing. I had to put uh, the bearing on and I had to put the wedding ring on. Um, these Mosers already came with that installed, so that's kind of neat. Um, don't have to worry about um, pressing it on because normally you got to press it on until it stops, but these are already pre-assembled, so that's kind of nice for the Moser. I don't know why the strange ones don't come pre-assembled. Um, unless Trick Chassis, he, I don't think he did it because he didn't do it the last one. This is my second rear end from Trick Chassis, and it doesn't disappoint. So um, this, is, this is really heavy-duty stuff. So, And these aren't even the most heavy-duty stuff. He has chrome molly stuff that uh, 
that he would sell too for super race car stuff. So got some stickers. So, but yeah, here are the shocks for the. Uh, this would be for the. No, uh, these would be for the rear. Um, so I think I'm gonna paint these black. I don't know yet, but this is gonna. This rubber boot's gonna have to stay blue. I'm assuming I can't paint that. That paint would just flake off of there eventually. So um, I got a lot to do. I got a lot to do. Got a whole bunch of parts in here for the front disc conversion here. Um, all this is going to have to get painted as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. So Transco kit that I'm going to put in the 4L80. Um, I got parts laying everywhere. It's time to... Well, that's the oil pan. But I got parts laying everywhere. So um, the springs are already painted. Those are UMI, UMI lowering springs nothing special but um but yeah so here's the latest update and hopefully next time i'm gonna get this painted or i'll probably do a video on uh prepping this and getting this painted so um yeah so that's about it so thanks for watching